Welcome to the World Tarot. This is just going to be an almost personal reading. Who needs an almost personal reading? Let's see. Who needs an almost personal reading, please? Holy Spirit, show me who needs an almost personal reading right now. The Kraken and the Lake of Fairies could be a water sign. We've got 45 and 23. 2, 3, 4, 5. Look at that. So there's a water sign here. There could be a group of people because both of these can talk about the group, a network. A group of people or a network. Could be a social media platform. Maybe this is, <laughs> maybe this is a message for YouTube. The Kraken, because they're controlling people, right? They're controlling spiritualists. Who is this for? Is this a group of people? Stone Fist was on the bottom of the deck and he came out again. This could be an earth sign, could be a Capricorn sig significantly. I wanted to say specifically, but it came out as significantly. Stone Fist could also be somebody who um, rules with an iron fist. So we've got a, a control freak here. This looks like somebody making a fist. This guy's got the fists. There's somebody who's controlling another person. Somebody who has money and influence who's controlling another person. They could be controlling a group of people. This could be somebody who has power and authority who's controlling spiritualists, what they're saying. People telling the truth. People who had, you see how he, you've got all the fairies here and this guy's trying to control the birdies. So we've got some uh, winged creatures here that he's trying to control. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to lead and to control. So this is somebody who wants to control the spiritual community. This might not be one person only. It could just represent people in power because for me this stone fist uh, number 10 is like the Ten of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. Okay, so there's an authority figure who's trying to control what the spiritual community is saying. Who is this authority figure, please? Holy Spirit, who is this authority figure? The Temple of Earth and Eileen Rip from the Sun, number 8. This could be somebody who has an 8 life path or who was born on the 8th or in August. Could be the daughter or son of a fire sign of a Leo. This is somebody who's practicing witchcraft, but it's behind the scenes. It's not somebody who has a platform. They could be a part of a secret society, a coven. Talk to me about this person. Is this a male or a female? Is this a male or a female? Is this a male or a female? Show me the truth, because I know this person temple of water this could be a female but then we've got the spark water and fire here it's an alchemist this is a spiritualist too but i don't think this person actually has a platform i think this is somebody who's very rich and powerful and who practices witchcraft but on the down low it's hidden the troll reversed and the spark male or female Show me the truth. Is this a male or a female? This troll. Is this a male or a female? A female. The Empress of the Fairies, 38. Could be a woman who kind of looks like these two women, if it's indeed a woman. But it's a shapeshifter. There you go, the magic wolf. This could be a mother. Stone fist clarified by the Empress of the Fairies. Could be a mother or a father. Could be a family member. The Temple of Earth and the Temple of Water also makes me think of family. This could be somebody's mother or father. And this person has a lot of influence. This person could be talking to other spiritualists to make their daughter or son look bad. Is this somebody's mother or father? Is this a spiritualist's mother or father, or parents, or family? Number 22, Tudor and the Tree of Life. Yes, it's somebody's family. 
the sea lion in reverse, 33. Somebody was abusing their authority, 22 and 33. This person could be a secret service agent. So somebody's parent could be a secret service agent. They've got power and authority and they're using it. They're abusing it. The magic whistle, number 11, could be a Libra or I'm blowing the whistle on them now because they're uh, creating spiritual warfare here. They're causing spiritual warfare with the five of wands here, the naughty bridge. Okay, so all this crap is on the floor. The world in reverse. Yeah, the world has been in reverse. They've been blocking my channel. They, It was showing like I have uh, 3.6K subscribers and I have 5.25K, for example. Okay, so no, no spiritualists. Look, the hunchback old lady. It's a mother and a father. It's somebody's parents who are uh, secret service agents. Those are the ones who are blocking spiritualists. Possibly not only their own child because other people could be exposing them too if they're watching the spiritual community. So they're, if these are my parents, they're not only blocking me, they're blocking other people who tell their business too. Are these my parents? The beast with seven heads in reverse. I think these uh, authority figures are coming up in reverse. The trolls are coming up in reverse because they're being blocked because it's over for them. The reign of terror is over. This is a group of people definitely, whether they are my parents or not, they're a group of people working together. Powerful people with the dragon here, with the beast. Who are these people? Show me who these people really are. The son and the mother. Could be a mother and a son duo here. Could be a male and a female. Could be a couple. Could be somebody's parents and the woman could kind of look like these blonde women here. Yes, the woman looks like the blonde woman in the pictures, in the drawings. Days is the healer. Days is the healer is a spiritualist. This woman could be a spiritualist, but she's not, uh, she doesn't have a platform or maybe she does, I'm not sure. Does this woman have a platform? The dragon, she's very controlling. Yeah, it's a blonde woman, look. Could be an air sign. Could be a Libra. There could be a Libra female here. There's a Libra. The Libra could be the, the leader here or one of the main characters in this situation here. The Lunatic and Amirage, 29 and 44. There's somebody who's very triggered by spiritualists. By people who are tapped in, who are tapping into her energy, who are exposing her. Yes. Because she's a hoe. And she has uh, burdens here. And she could be a Pisces. But the Pisces energy means fa a mother. I'm getting Libra and Pisces mainly here. And also fire. Shapeshifters. Demonic shapeshifters. There you go. Show me the truth. Who are these people? Who are the people here? Who are these people? Please show me the people pleasers here. <laughs> beep beep. Okay, Libra and Pisces again, and also Taurus. Leah. I think it's a woman. Is it a woman? The star. The temple of fire. The devil. This woman could be a reader. They could be on YouTube too. Or they're a healer of some sort. Or they're presenting themselves as a healer or an astrologer or a tarot reader, but they're the devil. Show me the truth about this woman. I think it's somebody's parent. It's a mother figure. Somebody's mother. Yeah, it's a family member, somebody's family member. There's somebody here on YouTube whose family member is doing this to them. 22-2. 222 or 22nd of February.
the magic bag number four the mother of the wood somebody's mother it's a spiritualist's mother who's doing this and she's a secret service agent apparently Mishi Peshu, the shapeshifter. Yes, she is. Mommy is a secret service agent. Hello, mommy. 